hi folks how are you happy new year so basically today we will understand the basic difference between a uh, for each function and map function which we use on the list into the kotlin so basically these two functions are just at high level iterates over the list and do something so we'll just see with examples okay fine uh, so we will just uh, initialize one list val okay so i will just uh, name list as a strings so list of strings basically so list of strings a comma b c okay so basically uh, for each function what it does is will take element as an argument and it will perform some operation like uh, saving an element uh, performing some kind of operation on that single element basically and it won't return anything so basically i want to show you for example strings that is a list name which is for each and print ln so we can just print it okay so we will we will just run this code we can see it is printing this and uh, it returns a void which is a, a kotlin dot init in the kotlin unit means basically a void type in the java so we can see for element in this this is a list this is the list and it is performing the action whatever function we are passing into that for each so it is just taking that element as a parameter and it is performing the action and it is returning nothing okay i can check it out well output and we will print output which is a kotlin dot unit ठीक है दिस इज प्रिंटिंग कोटलेन डॉट इन इट कूल सो दैट इज अ फॉर इच एंड नाउ वील चेक वॉट मैप डज सो स्ट्रिंग्स सो बेसिकली मैप फंक्शन एट हाई लेवल एज अ नेम सजेस्ट इट इज taking element as argument and it is mapping to something and the restriction into the map is for every operation it has to return some kind of object at a high level we are just grazing over the list we are performing each operation or whatever operation on that particular element and we are accumulating that data and we are returning that as a list okay so this is a map function and uh, it dot case okay so if we just if we just don't cache the return type of this string dot map we won't get anything okay and uh, i will just show you the internals of map function so we can see map iterable this is a function which are passing and we can see this is mapping first of all it is creating the array list of a size 10 and it is mapping to this transform function whatever it is and it is returning the list of a uh, transformed objects take uh, val output now i will just print the output output dot toasting because output is a now we will check the return type for type of output control shift p correct yeah we can see right just say it is a list of strings cool so we are just running this code oh shit so we have to print each element cool for each in telen the element 
which is upper case letter see so at high level we can use a for each function whenever we want to iterate over the list or any type of iterable and we would we want to perform some action we don't want that data back and if we want that data back if we have that age restriction we want that transform data back then we can use a map function so that is a basic difference which we should be remembered uh, while working on the back end code okay that's all bye folks